Hey, what's up guys? MGH here and welcome to the final episode of the Dortmund career mode. It is the final day of the Bundesliga season. If you look in the bottom right corner, let me just go over to the table, you'll see it's just one point between us and Bayern. With one game to go, it really is down to the wire and uh, I'm pretty nervous. I think Bayern, it's very likely they're going to win their last game, so it's in their hands. But all we can do is win our game and hope they drop points and then we will win the Bundesliga. We've also got the German Cup final against Leverkusen, so that is going to be interesting. Hopefully we can win the double in this episode. That's what I really, really want to do today. I'd be really, really happy with that because obviously the Champions League ended a little bit sourly. I was a bit upset with myself, but at least we can finish it on a high and potentially win the double. But just before we get into the first game of the episode, guys, I wanted to talk to you about something. The Euros are coming up. I know you're watching it. I'll be watching it. I'm really, really excited about it. And I strongly recommend you download an app called OneFootball. It really is the best app you can have at this time of year. It's got live score push notifications. It has all the latest news and you can customize it. So you pick your favorite team and you'll get 24 seven updates on all the news, all the scores. And especially during the Euros, guys, you're not gonna miss a goal. And also guys, it's 100% free. You can go ahead and download it on iOS or on Android and you will never look back. It honestly is that good. I use it all the time. If you need to know any other scores around world football, it's there, it's ready for you. So feel free to check it out, guys. There is a link in the description if you wanna use that, or you can go onto the iOS or Android market and download it yourself. It's one football, O-N-E football, and enjoy, guys. Honestly, I, I can't recommend it enough. It really is a fantastic app. But now let's get into the first game of the episode. Okay, guys, here we go. This is the team we're coming up against, Frankfurt, today. They've got some decent players in there, but come on. We have the best away record in the league. We are going to win today. The pressure's all on Bayern, technically, I guess. If they win, it's game over for us. They win the Bundesliga. But if they drop points and we get ourselves a win, it's game over for them. So this really is just an absolutely huge final game of the season. This is my team. Unfortunately, Mkhitaryan has picked up a five-day injury, something like a bruised elbow. Typical, really. So we've gone with Tura instead of Dembele. Will I regret that decision? I don't think so. Tura has been quite good for me recently. But here we go, guys. Last game of the Bundesliga season, just before the German Cup final. Let's get a win and just hope that things go our way in other games and buy and drop points. Not a very good start to this game. That's a really good cross. Oh, wow. They fit the woodwork. That would have been a terrible time to concede. Right, come on. Let's get on the break. Let's forget about that. Here's Gundogan. Try and get Tora released. That's a nice pass. Look at that. Right, get on the inside if we can. Nice. This is what we need to do with Tora. Just keep running. Pick a through ball. Nice. And again, through pass. Oh, wow. That final ball was not very good. Let's try again. Oji Kup. Come on. Through for Obama Yang. It's a decent pass up to Gundogan. He's on site. No, he's offside. We've put it in the back of the net, but it's not going to count. That is so frustrating. What a finish by Gundogan, by the way. It's all us at the moment up here for Tora. I think I might try and find a pass over the top. Oh, it's a good ball. Weigel's there. Finish it. Oh, my God. That keeper has just made an amazing save. How has he pulled that off? That, that was good. Oh, wow. Loads of space here for Royce. Inside for Ori, I don't know what he's doing up here, but we'll pass it inside again. Here's Aubameyang, try and get through the gap. Over here to Ozzykup, no, it's Hummels, what's he doing up there? I don't know, Toro, get the cross in. Please, honestly, I'm not going to score if I keep giving it away. Gundogan now, drives it in off the post. I think the keeper got a touch though. Another incredible save from this goalkeeper. He's having the game of his life right now. What a save. Well, that was absolutely mental. How I haven't scored in this game yet, I will never know. In this second half, I've got to put one of these chances away, and I'm sure I'm going to get a lot more. Let's find out if Bayern are winning as well. Yes, come on. Bayern are drawing with Wolfsburg. one all. Oh my god, it could actually happen. Please, Wolfsburg, if you're going to get points away from home, please let it be today. Please. All I need to do is score. Come on, we can do this. We've scored loads of goals this season. We can get another one. Back to Gundogan. Oh, come on, please. Please. Aurier. Straight at the keeper. Why is Aurier there? Why couldn't that have been someone else with better finishing? Oh, God. Please don't do this to me. Please. Into Tora. Go, Gundogan. Go. Come on. Yes, come on. That's a penalty. What the hell is going on right now? How is that not a penalty? Ozzy Cup. 
inside here to Gundogan. He's gone through. Into Oji Cup again. Please. Please. What the? F what? You are having a laugh. You are having a laugh. Two minutes of added time. No, 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 no. Please. Please. That's going to be it. Shit. There's not enough time. There's not enough time. The only hope I've got now is Wolfsburg have won their game. But even so, I think the goal difference is in Bayern's favour, isn't it? No, 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 no. No. Oh, Bayern won anyway. Bayern beat Wolfsburg 2-1, so it wouldn't have mattered even if I got the win. But guys, that is just... I'm so gutted right now. Even though it, it didn't matter that I got a draw, I'm still so disappointed that I couldn't get a goal in that game. And I still cannot believe I didn't get the goal in the game. How did I not score in that game? That was absolutely mental. Okay, so we've lost out on the league. We've only got the German Cup to win now. Let's do some training. And uh, Dembele's gone up to 82. I should have played him. I should have played him instead of Tora, shouldn't I? Shit. Okay, well... Let's get into this German Cup final and just uh, put this season behind us. So guys, here we are. The German Cup final against Bayer Leverkusen at the Olympia Stadium. Let's have a look at the lineups. Bayer Leverkusen do have a very nice team. A good balance of young players and uh, some experienced players in there. Bellarabi on the right. Mehmedi up top. Kramer. Ustinali. Ustinali. There's the trophy that we're going for. It really would help a little bit, make me feel a little bit better, but in the end, it's been a bit of a failure this season. It's such a shame. There's my lineup. Mikatarian comes back in, otherwise, it is an unchanged side, and it's my, my best team. And trust me, I know it's been a disappointing season. This is not how I wanted to end this series. I wanted to win the Champions League, got knocked out in the quarterfinals. I wanted to win the Bundesliga, lost out in the last game. It's just. It hasn't gone to plan, but at least we get a chance now to win some silverware. Today, I've got to be more clinical. If I have half as many chances as I had in the last game, I probably will score. Oh my god, what What the hell is up with my defence? Luckily, Socrates is pretty quick. He got back in time. Over to Royce. Come on, I need 1-0. Oh my god, that first touch was horrendous. What is wrong with my team at the moment? Here's Royce again, though. We'll get out through for Gundogan. Aubameyang's in space. Can we get over the top? We can. He's on side. Is he going to get there, though? He is, but it's saved by Leno, and it's off the line. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's a good cross. Shit. No. <laughs> okay, that's karma. That is... That's some good luck, finally. That should have been a goal, and I've got away with it. And there is the half-time whistle. So, yet again, guys, nil-nil. I'm really sorry. I, I don't know what to say. I'm not conceding any, which is good, but... I'm just not scoring, even though I'm getting all of these chances. And you know what? I'm changing it up. I'm going to play with a cam. I think it's time that I maybe try a little bit more of an attacking formation. So Weigl is actually going to come off. I'm going to replace Mi him with Mkhitaryan. So Mkhitaryan is going to play at cam and Dembele is coming on. So uh, let's see if this makes a difference. Ball over the top. Oh yes, Dembele. First touch. Not bad. He's still got it. Inside to Aubameyang. Great first touch from him. Please finish it. I'm done. I'm just done. Look at that. Six saves to none. Oh, my God. Right. Corner comes in. And Leno's going to grab it. Yeah, of course. I don't know what I'm going to do, guys. I have to make another change. It's just not working right now. I'm going to bring on Werner. You might think I'm crazy, but Aubameyang just isn't cutting it right now. Werner is going to come on, and he's going to save the day. Also, I'm going to bring on Ginter in midfield, because whenever I've done that in the past, he's played really well. So, Ozzykup is going to come off, and Ginter is going to... He's going to be my brick wall. Here he is now. We'll spread it over for Vendel. Through ball for Royce. He's on side, I think. We'll go inside with the Berber spin. That's worked brilliantly. Please finish it. Yes! We've scored! We've freaking scored a goal! I think this could be the tournament winning goal. Lovely bit of skill from Royce. And then just oh, into the top corner. Lovely finish. Finally. Right, okay. Now we just hold on. That's why Gint is going to be so helpful. Because now I can sit on defensive and just absorb that pressure. Or can we score again? That's a nice pass. Oh my god, we're through. Mikatarian over for Royce. No, it's Werner, isn't it? He's missed it, but then... What? <laughs> what? Can you imagine if it was still nil-nil, how angry I would be there? How that hasn't found the back of the net, I don't know. 
We're on the counter-attack again. I think I'm going to use Dembele. No, okay, it's going to go to Werner. Pass it inside. What a ball that is. Mkhitaryan's through, and it's saved again by Leno. Oh, my God. Honestly, this is just mental. Good cross in. Can I get it? No, Werner out here to Dembele. Good play. Let's get it into the box as soon as we can. Go on. Someone get there, please. Dembele. Oh, my God. Luckily, we're winning this game because I would have put my fist through the screen by now. And that is not a very good touchdown. Actually, that's worked quite well. I need to defend this. And I win the tackle. Oh, it doesn't matter. The referee's ended the game. That was really quick injury time. And we've won the German Cup. Uh, not quite as exciting as the Champions League or Bundesliga, but I'll take it. Let's at least enjoy this moment. Hummels is going to lift up the trophy. And I tell you what, it was actually quite a tough journey to get here. We had to beat Bayern, remember? So uh, it could have been a bit easier, but we still did it in the end. And to beat Leverkusen in the final, not a bad achievement. So we do get the German Cup. Unfortunately, the Bundesliga and the Champions League wasn't meant to be. And there is confirmation of the Bundesliga after all 34 games being played. We did lose out by three points in the end, of course. So it looks a bit more flattering for Bayern, but we took it right to the last day. And um, you know what, guys? I, I, although it's not the best result, I'm still, I'm still pretty happy we were able to go down right to the last game with a team like Bayern. You know, they've got so many great players and we only lost one game all season. So I, I can be kind of proud of that. But what let me down towards the end of the season was not scoring enough goals. If you remember maybe a couple of episodes ago, I had the same goal scored as Bayern. If not, maybe two more at one point. Towards the end there, they scored 65. We scored 57. It's just, just not good enough. I think this says it all, really. Bayern have two top scorers in the top three with Lewandowski and Vidal, whereas we've only got Aubameyang with 13. Have we got anyone else in this list? Look, there's another Bayern player, Ribéry. Anyone? No, we just didn't score enough goals. It is as simple as that. Let's have a look at assists, though. Look at that. Royce is the top assister with Draxler. Oh, my God. Arsenal won the Champions Cup. They beat Bayern Munich on penalties. That is absolutely unbelievable. They came through a lot of tough teams. Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, and then Bayern in the final. So, Bayern, they could have done very well there, winning the Champions League and the Bundesliga. But instead, they only get one trophy as well. So, I guess that's... That's kind of nice. Well done, Arsenal. Well done. And now to finish off the season, we're going to go ahead and do a squad report so you can see the full growth from the team this season. So Timo Horn did go up by three, which is brilliant. He was good. He was a good signing in the end, I think. Aurier went up by two. Socrates up by one. Hummels up by one. And Vendel up by one. Weigel went up by one as well. So did Gundogan. Finally, he actually went up. So he's 86 rated now. Absolutely amazing player. Ozzykup gone up by one as well, Mkhitaryan up by one, Aubameyang went up by two, Royce up by one, Dembele went up by four, and I feel like I didn't give this guy enough time. I, I, I really think maybe I should give him a go in another series because he is that good, but with Mkhitaryan it was difficult to get him in the team. Dahoud, who's now finally back from injury by the way, typical timing, I could have used him. Uh, he's gone up by three, Werner went up by five, Derm has stayed the same, Ginter went up by one, Tura stayed the same. Bender went up by one, Paslak went up by three, Pulisic went up by three, and Array, I don't know why I've still got him, Deshaev as well, Saar went up by three, Dendonka went up by one, Vylan Vela is still 78, Subotic didn't go any higher or lower, which is good, Ramos didn't go down either, Castro up by one, but that guys brings the series to an end, two seasons with Dortmund, uh, it's been fun, I'm not going to lie, I've really, really enjoyed playing with Dortmund, but I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty disappointed with how the series has ended, so let me know what you want me to do next. I'm going to take a couple of days to think about it, and then uh, we will come back with another series, whether I'm going to go to Spain, Italy, or go back to England, I'm not really sure, or whether I'm going to revisit a career mode I've already started this year, maybe go back to Arsenal, I, I really don't know what I'm going to do yet. So uh, let me know your suggestions below. Make sure you follow me on Twitter for updates and votes and things like that. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I couldn't give you more at the end of the season, but we'll come back again in the next series and hopefully we will accomplish more. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all the support in the series and I will see you in the new series very soon.